Hey everyone, it's Michael here from goodyreader.com and I'm going to show you today on how to sideload ebooks to your Kindle e-reader. Uh, as you know, many older Kindle e-readers are going to lose access to the store. So ebooks is the only way to do it. And the ones that are losing store access include the DX, uh, the Kindle Touch, the first few generations of the Kindle, all the way to the fifth generation Kindle. So basically, uh, you know, six e-readers are going to not be able to be accessed to the store. Uh, but there's a lot of also people out there that want to download books from the internet and load them on the Kindle. You don't, maybe don't want to buy everything from Amazon, but maybe you want to download things from Project Gutenberg or other websites on the internet that have books that you want to read. So. There's a couple of things that you can do to make this process easier. And I'm gonna show you Caliber. It is pretty well one of the premier ebook management suites out there. And when you install it for Windows or Mac or Linux or whatever you want, there's a few things that you need to know. You can click here and browse your which I've already done here. And then you can do things like simply send it to your Kindle. If it's like, you know, if it's, it says here, it's an AZW format, that's a very good Kindle format. I can send it to my Kindle at the click of a button. But first of all, let's see what's on my device. You can see here I have a few books here. And I want to copy this book to my Kindle. So let's do it. You can see here the job is going. I click on my device again, and here's the book on my device. Now let's go back to my library. There's a few, two things I wanna show you uh, about Caliber. Let's say that you downloaded an EPUB book. So let's just delete this. I'm just gonna delete it from my library. And I'm gonna add in an EPUB book. Okay. And Kindles obviously can read EPUB. So oh, what do I do? Just delete it because I can't convert, you know, my Kindle won't read it? Well, not exactly. This is DRM free. So what I can do is I can convert books. So I can just click here at the top convert books. And what do I want my output format to be? Well, it highlights Mobi, but I can also select AZW. Uh, Mobi is in about an older format. It doesn't live up to modern standards. Like if you have like a newer Kindle, you probably want to do AZW3, but first, you know, for the purpose of this tutorial, let's just do Mobi. It's a tried and true format. It's the easiest format to find on the internet. So, I'm converting it to Mobi. And it's running this process here. So this is an easy way that if you have a DRM free book, it will have a and a Mobi version. And I want to send this to my device. And if I go here, nice. It's been, you know, the Mobi edition has only been copied to my device and not um, the EPUB version. So that's great. So let's just remove these from the device from now. I can just click on remove books. And I don't want to see that warning again. And it's deleting the device, you know, um, the books right from my e-reader. So that's about as easy as you can do. One final thing I want to show you before I wrap up Caliber is metadata. Sometimes when you download ebooks from the internet, it may not have a book cover. Well, as long as you have the title and author's name, you can just simply click download cover and it'll search the title and the author's name on Amazon, and choose different colors to put on your e-reader. So, hey, this Amazon version is more high resolution than this one, and you can see that there's a big difference. Sometimes when you download books from the internet, depending on where you download from, let's say that the author's name and 
uh, might be in the title's name. So maybe Run Lois, Run Rose Run by James Patterson. That's very common when you download books from the internet because people don't know a lot about metadata. So what happens if it's like this? And you know, if you sort by author or sort by title, it's not gonna really work properly on your Kindle. So you can search for download metadata. And, and what's gonna happen here? It's gonna ask me for the cover again, and what do you know here? It actually changed again. Let's say you don't want a novel after it. You can simply delete this, and then click OK, and it'll actually save what you did in that book. So that's pretty handy, so that's Caliber. The link to the to the download this will be in the description of this video. The second thing I want to show you is send a Kindle. And this is a very popular method. Currently, send a Kindle right now supports the transfer of EPUB to your Kindle. However, actually convert it from EPUB to another format. So it's very frictionless for your average user. So Senna Kindle has a, a Chrome extension, PC and Mac program, Senna Kindle by email, and also Senna Kindle for Android. So I've already installed Senna Kindle for PC and it's ridiculously easy. All you do is like look for a book on your computer that you want to send over. Let's say that I want to send this EPUB over. I can send to, so what I'm doing is I'm right clicking, going to send to, and then send to Kindle. And started. What about AZW3? Well, it's not supporting any of these programs. So what are we gonna have to do? Well, we're gonna have to open up Caliber and convert one of these formats to a Mobi file. And if you followed what we did before, very easy, convert books. And we're gonna click okay. And once this is over, we can click send to disk. And I'll just uh, send it to my desktop. And as you can see here, it created a folder. And it has the EPUB, the JPEG, and the Mobi file. And we Kindle and Mobi. And because I've installed the program and I logged into my Amazon account, it does not, the author's name is not me, James Patterson. And all you have to do is find your Kindle, which is what it's highlighted here, and click send. So within a few minutes, that Mobi file will now be copied over. So it's good we learned about Caliber because we just ran into an issue and we were easily solve it with like the power of Caliber. There's also another way that you can send a Kindle and it's via the email. And so it's very easy. All you need to do is log into your Amazon account and figure out where digital content and devices are. You clicked content and devices. And this is my content that's on my device. I don't have a lot of books. And you can see my Echo, my Alexa devices, but we wanna see, hey, Michael's Kindle has some serial number information here. 
but you can click on personal document settings. And these are all of the email addresses that are associated with your Kindle. So this is my Kindle email address. So what I can do is I can open up an email client, such as Outlook. I can click send, I can do two, and then subject line, book. And I could attach a book. So I can actually send an EPUB via send the email for like this, and it'll actually convert it before it hits my Amazon account. So I'm just gonna click send. And that's as easy as it gets, folks. That's very, you know. Um, finally, let's look at the Kindle navigation menu. So when you plug your Kindle into your computer via USB, see a few things here. Lots of things. Cover bug, audible, documents, fonts, voice. But we want documents downloads and this is if you want to just simply drag and drop movie files or that's here you can do it so this is like a super easy way that you can just drag and drop files from like your desktop to here no programs required hopefully this helped you folks and uh, you've learned a little bit about sending documents and files to your Kindle. If you have any questions, comment below. For Goody Reader, this is Michael, and everybody take care.